All right, what's up everybody? It's been a while since I've done a video tour. I think it's been probably about a couple days. I haven't released out any videos just due to the fact that I've just been crazy busy. However, I am back. So, just want to show you this new community by Pardee here. So, we are located in the South Las Vegas Valley. Oh, Southwest Las Vegas Valley. And we are probably about a block west of Inspirata. So we are here um, looking at a property by Pardee Homes. Cirrus is the name of the community. Now what you'll see is that this community is not in a gated community. And you'll see that we have a couple lots in this little a parcel here then across the street we have some more parcels over there so there's a total of three huge parcels and they're like these little cul-de-sacs but I believe there's a total of 55 um, lots that you can choose from they just sold six they recently opened like probably like less than a month there are four different four plans to choose from however there's only three to view today okay as far as the models also uh, these homes will range you around 350000 and up. What you'll notice with Pardee, they are the leading builders to do mid-century modern designs at a low price just like this. So here's the first model that we're going to be taking a look at today. Um, this is plan one. Now. Plan one is 2,014 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, great room, dining room, and a two-car garage. So this one starts off at $360,999. Uh, this elevation is elevation A, and it's also reversed too as well. Now, you have three different elevations to pick from. So let's go inside and... Let's take a look and see what this model has to offer. So, as you can see, we've got some nice pavers. You have the Spanish type of roof style as far as the tile. This here is converted into a bathroom but a side access to the garage. That is an option. Now take a look at this texture right here. I love this smooth texture, this plaster texture. And also you have the uh, stucco, spray stucco. Courtyard with the fence. Now keep in mind, this one has a lot of upgrades to it. So as you can see the courtyard with the cover pergola, that is an upgrade. Even this front gate here is an upgrade. All this would just be uh, rock, I believe. This waterfall will not be here. HOAs in this community are gonna run you about $50 a month. There are no SIDS and LIDS. Got a nice ring there. Blue door, eight foot. So as we enter, Nice wall here. This could be easily done yourself. Swing this back around. Eight foot doors. We have a nine foot entry on the ceilings. You have a two panel door. Off to the right here, we have our coat closet. Okay. I uh, love the casing on here. Straight edge, two inch casing. You have an orange peel texture. If we take a look at the uh, baseboards, we have also a two inch shred edge on the baseboard. And we have nice porcelain tile, 12 by 24. I do like how they ran the tile. So as we come in here, we have a nice open space. 
As far as for the architectural design, for what you're paying for, this is a great deal, I would say. I love the window right there. That's probably an upgrade. You got the surround sounds, that's also a upgrade too as well. Uh, these cabinets, these are probably like a level 7 cabinets right here. You got the thermal fold cabinets, uh, the 40, uh, the 42 upper cabinets with the 3 inch crown but no light rail. Now that refrigerator right there is a little bit small for that unit. So believe it or not, um, a lot of cabinet makers are saying that these are really good cabinets. Um, they actually are. They're a lot better than the side glides and the, uh, what do you call, the staple cabinets. Ooh, this is Blanca. This is a $1,000, well, 900 and some change. It's actually scratch resistant and stain resistant too as well. Hmm. I love this, one of the options that you could do as far as you push this button for the garbage disposal. Okay. However, one thing that I want you to keep in mind when you're at the design studio, when you pick your fixtures, okay, this fixture right here, they have to drill three holes. So what I'm going to get to is that if you are doing a standard because you're on a budget, you want to make sure it's only a single right you don't want to upgrade or get a sink or a faucet that has three holes then you drill three holes but then you go to Home Depot or Lowe's and the um, faucet that you want is only a one hole uh, faucet that needs to be drilled so now you just ruin your countertops however with the countertops what they can actually do is seal this and cover it up and patch it up but I don't even know why you would do that so just keep that in mind I don't know if I explained that correctly or not, so I do apologize. You got your garbage disposal, your dishwasher. Remember, um, appliances are not included. That's refrigerator, washer, and dryer. So we have a inch half granite. And also keep in mind on the granite, if you went bull nose, right? It's a lot cheaper. If you did the straight edge, they charge you more money. And also, you might want to get that grout sealed too as well. Also, your countertops. Oh, this one has uh, some nice pot drawers. Nice. Now, with these pot drawers, you'll see that the slides are completely different. So that way, it will actually hold the weight. Okay. Also, did you notice that this drawer comes all the way out too as far as for the cabinet? That's cool. Now, if these were dovetails, right, with an undermount slide, you see how you can't get underneath here to get all your stuff? Normally, the other ones will come all the way out with a bottom slide. Looks like we got some GE appliances. Okay. Now, I was at the design studio the other day. Uh, one of the options that you could do is add the pendant lighting. But just to run the J-Box, depending on the company, $75 to $150 per J-Box, depending which company you choose. However, one of the things that you need to look at when you're going through high voltage and you're picking your electrical options. So when you're going through your electrical options, you need to make sure you know exactly what pendant lighting that you're going to use. Sometimes they do sell one pendant lighting right that has a rail that goes over all the way across that will actually have three lights that you like but you really only need one J box so before you add how many J box you want make sure you know exactly what pending lighting you want as well so this one looks like we have a nice 12 foot slide that will lead out to the back of the house however uh, this is locked just do the fact that uh, safety and liability purposes. So this lot looks a little bit larger. I would say probably about 4,500 square feet. And it looks like we have at least a 25 foot setback. And this is actually a decent sized pool with the um, water feature. And I like how they added that accent piece right there on that wall. 
and textured that part. You got some nice grass too as well. I'll see if I can sneak back there and hop in the back. We got some surround sounds. Storage underneath the staircase. Decent size. Looks like we have our Honeywell thermostat here. Sunrise is a third party company that um, has done the installation. Coming into the half bath here. Fairly large half bath. We have a three quarter hard stone. Love all the windows in this bathroom here. Bathroom is very large. Now I want to talk about quartz a little bit. Uh, quartz, there are a lot of knockoff um, companies that are cheaping out on quartz. Quartz is really a good product, but however, uh, you need to make sure uh, what product quartz and where's that quartz coming from. Just due to the fact that if you get the cheaper one, it's very, very easy to be damaged. I love the staircase, it's about four foot wide, and you have two landings, and look how wide the staircase is. Now I believe you do have an option, this pony wall that goes all the way down, you may have an option to open this all up and do a stair rail which I think would be awesome because they'll keep it nice and open. Now, I will have more information in the link in the description below on this property. Decent sized bedroom. Coming into the master bath. So we enter to the left, we have a closet. Closet's a decent size. Okay. Bathroom, we have some nice six inch staggered 12 by 24 tile. I do love the new one piece tub shower. Okay, that does look nice. And we have a pretty large vanity here. This looks like 126, 120. Uh, inch vanity uh, 36 inches high so remember keep this in mind if you're going to do an upgrade in your kitchen cabinets you need to make sure that if you do the upgrades does the cabinets also get upgraded to inside your bathrooms okay and also your laundry room sometimes builders will not do that and if you want to upgrade inside your bathroom the same as the kitchen they're going to charge you to as well so ask that question also ask is it a 30 inch or a six uh, 36 inches this is a 36 inch height okay these are more for adults the 30 are for kids on a resale value you're, you're better off doing a 36 inch you have a undermounted sink nice fixtures looks like you have a 8 inch uh, backsplash and also you have your frameless mirror. Got your water closet right over here too as well. Okay. Nothing special about that. So. Also one thing uh, you definitely want to ask uh, when you are buying a brand new home. Um, what type of insulation is coming with the home, are they using radiant barrier? That's going to be important. So it looks like we have the straight edge on the cornering. Right above here, we have our AC filters. 
Uh, this one looks like a 20 by 24 inch, and you have two of them. So we have two bedrooms, one here and one here, Jack and Joe it looks like. But off to the right, we have our laundry room. As we enter the laundry room, transitions from carpet, again, to 24 by 12 with a 6 inch stagger. This looks like a gas dryer. And keep in mind, this right here is a upgrade. Okay, the upper cabinets. Right here we have our attic access. I think that's a perfect place for the attic access. Right here is normally your uh, box for uh, ADT alarm system, all that good stuff. This is where you're gonna put all your cables, right? Phone jacks, data communication, okay? Also normally with the data communication will come with one plug. Um, if you have an option to add two plugs, go ahead and add uh, two plugs just to the fact that you may want to put your security system, your modem, your router, all that stuff right into this box. I believe this is one is a 36 inch. They do sell them at 24, 20 or 24 or the 36 inch. Uh, get the bigger box. But with this builder, um, it does come with a lot of features with this builder. I will give you that um, information in the link in the description below. Now this room looks to be about, I would say, a good 13 by 15. It's a pretty decent sized room here. Okay, These doors are only a 6-8 door. This bedroom will share this Jack and Jill bath. I love the fact that they already upgraded the cabinets on here to uh, 36 inches. Okay, and you definitely need to put two sinks. Okay, especially if you have a Jack and Jill. Normally, builders will not give you the standard. You are, you're going to have to pre-plumb it. Uh, you would do that through the uh, what do you call? Lost my train of thought. You'd have to do do that through the structural build. When you're picking your structural options. Now I believe this bedroom is a 12 by 12. It does appear a little bit bigger than it really is because there's a small little crib. However, if you put a queen size bed in here, it will probably take up some room. Okay. Also, one thing I noticed that this bedroom does not have can lightings. Uh, with the can lightings, just make sure um, if you do your high voltage, you may want that. Uh, that's a great uh, upgrade and a resell on your home when you start adding more can lightings to the property. There's just certain things that you got to do to really add value to your home, especially on the structural Now, I had somebody ask me the other day, Chuck, why, why should I hire you as an agent? Well, for a lot of things. Uh, number one, it's representation. At the end of the day, nobody's going to have your back like how I'm going to have your back. At the end of the day, the builder doesn't care about you. Not at all. They're not going to care about you as much as how I care about you and want things done right. Also, you need to know what and how things are done legally how to hold the builder accountable. That's like the most important thing. Remember, you're buying a home that's like almost $400,000. This is the uh, two-car garage. Pantry, we wouldn't even look at the pantry. Okay. And the other thing that's most important is when you are building a home, like I mentioned, there's certain things that you just need, okay? Now, again, this plan was plan number one, or 1A, one for 360990 So they, they do have one that is on the market right now, which is a move-in ready property, okay? Um, this one has some upgraded tiles and carpet, and it looks like it has some upgraded... Quartz in the bathroom, upgraded appliance package, moving ready. And this one is at $396,665. Uh, 
if you guys are interested in this move in ready one, uh, please let me know. Also, uh, I just want to give you my quick thoughts about this property or this community here. Um, number one, I love this builder just due to the fact that they're doing something that's very innovative and something that's new and fresh out here in the marketplace, especially in Las Vegas. They are the only builders that are building mid-century modern homes. Now, there are some other builders out there will build a mid-century modern home, but once you walk in, it's more traditional. So what I mean by that is this builder, if you take a look at the architectural design, okay, that's what you're really paying for. And at a price like this, you're not going to get a price like this anywhere else other than this builder. Um, I think it's really, really good money to spend, especially if you're looking for a mid-century. And these guys, they got it. They get it. Um, they're starting to realize that a lot of consumers just want a mid-century home. Because, I mean, take a look at the architectural design on this. I mean, this is gorgeous, right? Also, uh, one quick shout out. If you guys are interested in this community, if you guys come out here to the sales office, uh, just come by to check out Kimberly. She's the sales associate for this um, community. Just let her know that uh, you got her, her information from this video. And what she's going to do, she's going to roll out the red carpet for you and show you and explain to you how everything works as far as what are all the upgrades and the features. Also, um, one thing I do want to mention, um, if you use our lender, they're giving you uh, $8,000 towards closing costs. Uh, keep in mind that may change depending on the sales of, this, of the community. In addition to that, if you purchase one of their standing inventories right now, they're going to give you $10,000 off the price. However, with the standing inventory, we know that's the best way to negotiate a deal. And keep in mind, we are here in the third quarter. Other than that, I've been uh, jaw japping, talking so much. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.